Those rain chances might put a damper on your plans for this next sport. Tennis, mm -hmm. badminton, and ping pong come together in harmony to create one of the fastest growing sports here and across the country. It's called pickleball. So you can find courts like these across Atlanta and beyond. In fact, our partners at the Atlanta Business Chronicle revealed earlier today that the Ace Pickleball Club, which is based in Atlanta, just completed the sale of 32 franchises across the country. And it'll open its first club in Roswell later this month. But that surge in popularity is causing some issues. Bloomberg reports that shares of major health insurance companies dropped after United Health Group Incorporated warned more people were cashing in on their health insurance, specifically for hip replacements, oh. knee surgeries, and mm. other elective procedures. Now, analysts suggest that might be due to pickleball. Can you believe that? The firm estimates between 250 to $500 million in pickleball-related injuries this year. So we talked to our 11 Alive medical expert, that's Dr. Sujatha Reddy, about what's going on here. And while I think it can be, we're also now seeing that you can injure yourself. And some of the injuries that we're seeing are most commonly, they're going to be strains and sprains. There have been fractures. There's tendinitis. Yeah, the sport can get intense. And so-called picklers agree injuries can catch up if you're not too careful. I'll come out here without stretching or something, and it's pretty easy to pull something very much so. So it's open. I feel like it's accessible for a lot of people of all ages, but it's also not so casual that you can just come and do it whenever. Yeah, the official USA Pickleball has some tips to stay safe. First, make sure you warm up. Don't play if the court is wet and improve your balance to cut your chances of falling.